said it's a good question, but it's a difficult question because uh, in terms of the way the name came, uh, I'm not sure if you were at the event. The minister was not really at the front. So it is not at the minister level that the discussions has to come up with a name. Ghana is a free country. We run a democracy that allows people to associate, to form associations and groups. And as they do and register properly, they have certain, they reserve for themselves certain rights. And so if the flame uh, group came up and they discussed among themselves and came up with a name and thought that they, it was within their powers to announce it to the country, they went ahead and did it. Now, the minister only comes and if you see us taking something to parliament for a name to be legislated, and that makes it a Ghana name. Then, then you can go with that. So, so all I can say is that uh, to the extent that the name was announced, it wasn't the minister who announced it, not myself, uh, and it wasn't the minister that you know uh, engaged in the processes of the name. After the name was announced, we had you know a lot of you know uh, feedback, and, and there were protests all over the place, not from government but actually from the industry. And uh, so I think that I, the minister said that maybe it gives opportunity for, there are so many splinter organizations in the flame industry, and, and it's not helping their cause. And, and I think that the, the, the group that announced it is seen to be a splinter group from a main, whatever. So it wasn't the actors did, that announced it, and, and that is what everything revolves around. Uh, so we as a minister encourage all of them to get together uh, and, 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 and advise the minister what, what the name should be. You know, I, I think that it is just a name, you know, uh, but to the extent that somebody wants to change a name, it should be a consensus building so that it will be something that, is, that the whole industry can embrace and, and own. It shouldn't be a part of the industry. That okay, so should we say that you've not endorsed the name? No, we've not, as a minister, we've not endorsed. Okay, I want clarification on the regional theaters. Are you saying that you didn't promise any regional theater? No, no, no. I, I, we, in our manifesto, there is something to talk about regional yes. theater. But as to the nature of theater, so when you say regional theater, people were thinking in Accra, we have the national theater, mm -hmm. and then we have the national center for, you know, for us, and then we have the NCC. So people confuse what we said about national theater, like we are replicating the national theater in all regions. Okay. All we were saying was that we want to create opportunity in regions for theater performances and okay. for other cultural... Uh, so it's not like you are going to build place. regional theaters? No, no, no. no. Well, we have regional center for national cultures. Now, they are not in the shape that you can say you can use them for theater and other cultural activities. So what the government promised was in regions where you don't have this existing, we're going to come in and build new ones. In regions where you have ongoing projects, we're going to come in and complete them. In regions where you have complete existing ones, as in Kumasi, we're going to come in and see how we can do to bring them, update them, so that they can serve, so that they can be built for purpose. They can serve the purpose for which our idea in the manifesto is all about. So in the end, it doesn't make sense. You go to a region and you have a, a theater that you call a regional theater and then an art center. It doesn't make sense because they will all be serving the same audience, okay. the same purpose. So, so the manifesto promise is, is clear that we will do this regional theaters, but the definition of what the regional theater is, I think, is where. Okay, so when are you going to start doing it? Because we are, we are already in. Oh, no, no, I just told you that we, are, we, are, we, are, we have a contractor working on the corporate one, and okay. by November that one will be complete. And we'll do the national arts and you know uh, festival, you know, uh, and culture, national festival arts and culture, NAFA, mm -hmm. in, in in that you know theater. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in okay, you are here to you are here today. You have already been inside. Do you have anything to share? Any experience? What have you learned? What are you going to impart on them? Well, 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 I was impressed. Of course, I've been to other convention centers all across the world, but I'm impressed about this, and I think that we can learn from this. I think this investment is a huge investment. One thing people don't recognize is. Even if a private person put this up, it's going to make money out of it. You know, Ghana, Accra, you know, is becoming more and more an event, you know, uh, center uh, in West Africa and in Africa. And, and so uh, we we think that 
the convention center that we are going to do uh, is not at all going to be government. It's going to be a private person, and they will do it. I think the projection is 25,000. Uh, we can learn from, you know, uh, you know, venues like this, and, and, and I think it reminds us, it, it reminds us of, you know, what we are missing in Accra, what we are missing in Ghana. And for me, it even emboldens me, and, and I'm even more, you know, if you like, charged to go and push this convention center project that we have. Beyond the convention center, we invite private, I told you that our ministry is more private sector driven. And so if people come through here and they are business savvy, they will want to go and replicate exactly the same thing in, in Accra. Uh, and, and that will be big for them in terms of business. Uh, so, so unfortunately, it's a shame that 2018 we don't have something like this in the whole country. Uh, but, but it is what it is, and we are where we are, but we have to look forward you know, and, and make sure that in the next five to ten years, people can come to Accra and host big events like this. Okay, thank you.